Hi everybody, it's Erin Reed for Expo International, and today I'm going to show you how to take a cute pair of socks, just regular old socks, and turn them into something even sweeter using the Frankie Peapod trim, pom-pom trim, from Expo International. I've already done a couple, and I did pair up, this is a baby pink, with a light pink thread to go on a pair of white socks. They're so cute, and it's just so, so simple. It's just an easy little stitch, and I'm going to show you how to do it here on the pink ones. I also did it in a bright pink and paired it with a bright pink thread. Uh, this pair of socks actually was a straight edge um, compared to the ruffle that you're going to see on the one that we're going to do. So it does work for any kind of sock that you wish. Super fun. You can make up the colors that you want. It really dresses up a fun pair of socks for anybody, for an adult, child, tween, doesn't matter. And you can have a blast. You can even layer up a couple of different trims if you want and go for a double layer if you want to sew an extra layer on top. That would look super cute as well. So the colors of the pom-pom trims come in a wide variety. This is just three colors, but it also comes in yellow and blue and all kinds of stuff. Links will be down below so you guys can check that out. First stage you're going to do is you're just going to take a little bit of thread and you are going to thread your needle. If there's a sock, pair of socks that you have, they're still in good quality and you just want to kind of spruce them up, add a little fun pizzazz to them. This is a great way to add a little fun life to your sock. All I'm doing is I'm threading my needle here and then tying a knot at the end. To give them a little bit more stability, I'm going to make sure that I do double thread all of everything I sew onto here. All right. The pom-pom thread has a top and what I call a bottom. We're going to sew it so the pom-poms are facing downward, the same as where the little trim is. Where I start the sock, where I start adding the trim to the sock, and I'm going to make sure that it is folded down the way that the sock is supposed to be. If you did a sock that didn't have a cuff that would be folded down, if you did more of an ankle sock, then you can pick which direction you'd like. I am starting it on the back side because that's the least likely area that's going to be noticed. The front's going to get noticed a little bit more. So there's going to be a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to run my thread through the back right here, through the back of the trim where the knot can catch. So I haven't actually sewed anything on. I've just added the sewing to the front. I'm going to put my needle through. And where you place it onto the sock, if you want to have it high or low, it is up to you. Depends on how much of the sock below you want to see. Make sure you don't catch it on the little pom-poms. Pull it tight. And I'm just going to go back and forth a few times just to give this a little bit of strength. I'm going to make sure this is nice and secure on here. I'm not doing a whip stitch. I'm just pulling it through. Backside, now I'm on the front and going back through the back, making sure I go through a different hole each time. Now I'm going to start moving over. So I'm on the back side of my thread and I'm going to move over a little bit and hit the trim, still making sure it's the right space down. Hit the trim, come up. And we're just, and I know there's a special name for this particular stitch, but for the life of me, I can't remember. All I'm doing is I'm pulling the thread up. And then now I'm on the top, I'm going to push the thread back down, moving over about, I don't know, half a centimeter, quarter of an inch, depending on how you want to look at that. Pull it through. Now I'm on the bottom side. I'm going to do the same thing. Go over about a quarter of an inch, pull through. And continuing, going all the way around the edge of the sock, doing the exact same motion. Pull through and down. Go over about a quarter of an inch, push through, pull it all the way through. Now we're on the back side, go over a quarter of an inch, push through again, just like that. I'm going to continue going all the way around and speed that up for you and I'll show you how to close it off at the end. I'm at the end of my sock and I've traced it and bordered all around the edge with little pom-poms. I don't like cutting off my pom-pom trim until I know how much I absolutely need. So now I know exactly where I'm going to be ending so that the pom-poms line up. I'm going to go ahead and trim that as close to the edge as possible. Move this off to the side because now I need to do the other sock. So I'll use that for the other side. I have my trim here and I'm going to line it up together as best as possible. Take my thread which ended on the back side come through and I'm going to start sewing the edges of the trims together through the sock. So I'm taking my needle and I'm actually trying to sew these two pom-poms kind of together. 
welding them together so it doesn't create a break. Coming up through part of the pom-pom, the ball part of the pom-pom, blending them together, just doing whip stitches, simple stitches, getting anything to kind of blend it in, finish it out so it doesn't have any kind of frayed edge. An edge that could get pulled, snagged, torn, really making sure it's nice and finished. Again, this is the back side, so I'm not as worried about it looking perfect, but I don't, don't want it to look messy either. So I'm just going through really finishing, going back and forth, back and forth, doing a stitch that comes up and around, over and around. There really is no right or wrong reason. You're just trying to make this nice and secure and tight onto the sock so it doesn't pull apart. Taking the pom-poms, sewing them together to give it that blended look because this is where you're trying to meld it and to make it look like it's one continuous pom-pom action going all the way around the top of the sock. When you feel like you've got a nice and secure, make sure you've got no loose threads, that looks good, come to the back and I'm just going to tie off a couple of simple knots using my thread. A couple of simple, simple knots. This is a great uh, sewing activity to teach somebody how to sew because you don't have any fancy, there's no right or wrong, there's nothing, it's not a difficult stitch to teach how to do somebody and it's on a sock. It's so easy, so fun, and it's using really basic supplies. So this is our first one, and this is actually on the fringe. So you're not actually going to see the little bit of scallopy unless they pull the sock up, which would look kind of cute too. But the purpose of the sock is actually to be meant to be down. So you have a cute little fringe just like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish the last sock, and I'll show you what they look like. So there we go, super cute socks, taking a simple pair of white socks or even colored socks, adding a fun little pom-pom trim to them can spice up any kind of socks that you have in your wardrobe. Here's a picture of my daughter wearing each of these three socks. They're super cute. And don't forget to just check out all the supplies at Expert International. Links are down below. And thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>